is this thing on i don't think the camera is working right now i don't i don't know what's going on i think the lens is dirty <sighs> let me see yeah yeah i think that's better oh it's been on the whole time oh what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy rotten core and if you like dope art and you like to be entertained <laughs> go ahead and tap that like and subscribe button and flick the bell so you can be notified when i'm dropping that <laughs> guys we have something special today we have some commission art oh my god wow it's different though so let's get into it okay guys like i said we have some commission art today and it's kind of unique let me ask you all a question do you know what a pit guard is for a guitar? Me neither. So I actually reached out to the client and asked him what it was. He told me what it was. He sent me over some images and I did my own research. So a pit guard is actually a protective panel that goes on top of the guitar under the strings. So when you play the guitar with a pick, it prevents uh, the guitar itself from being scratched and everything like that. So he actually sent me over uh, a pit guard for me to, to paint. So this is what he wants. He wants a grizzly bear in the forest with the color palette being brown and forest green and he wants that painted on the pit guard so it sounds super dope i'm super excited to do it and i'm gonna make his guitar even more dope um if you guys ask me what kind of guitar it is i have no idea what type of guitar it is it just looks cool so anyway uh hopefully i get some images from him when it's done and i can show you all so Let's get all the materials out that we need and get this thing going. Okay guys, so before I get started, I did notice that the pick art had a plastic film covering. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that film covering very slowly. Make sure I get every piece off of uh, the pick guard because I don't want to leave any piece behind if I rip it and then paint over it and that will just be a mess. So make sure you do it very slow and get every piece that you can off uh, the pick guard. All right guys, so after I remove the film covering from uh, the pit guard, I will be taking a scotch bright pad and scuffing up the surface area that I'm going to be painting on the pit guard. So I'm just going to be scuffing up uh, in small circles, not too hard, just rubbing around, just roughing it up, scuffing it up. That's what she said. <laughs> so I can have the paint stick to the plastic pit guard. The pit guard is made of plastic and usually with things that are plastic and you're gonna put paint on it, it doesn't matter what type of paint. It can be uh, spray paint, acrylic paint, it doesn't matter. Over time, the paint will peel or crack and then that would just be a waste of time and effort. So make sure you scuff it up real good. You don't have to go real hard or, or anything just small circles on all the areas that you plan on painting all right guys so once you're done scuffing up the surface with your scott bright pad you can immediately start painting if you want but for extra protection i will be using a rust-oleum plastic primer just flat white I'm going to paint, uh, spray paint this, just one coat, just one simple coat over uh, the pit guard after I get done or after I'm done scuffing it up and that will even help uh, even more for the paint to adhere to the pit guard. So let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, now what I'm going to do is take a plain white piece of paper, lay it on top and I'm going to trace the outline of the pit guard and I will be using this outline to create uh, the concept 
for uh, the pit guard. So I can have a border of uh, the, the uh, shape of the pit guard so I don't uh, make it too big or too small or anything like that. Um, so I'm just going to trace the outline of it and then use that piece of paper for creating the design for it. All right guys, now that the pit guard is prepped and ready to be painted, we're gonna take our outline of the pit guard that we traced earlier, and we're gonna go ahead and put our concept art on here so we get an idea of the spacing that uh, we can use and just, you know, placement, everything. So that's usually how I like to do things so I have everything organized and ready to go so once I start painting, there won't be any mistakes. So let's do it. So like I said, the client wants a grizzly bear in the forest. So I think I'm gonna have the grizzly bear right here roaring um, and then kind of put forest trees around uh, the grizzly bear. So I'm using a reference photo. I usually start off with a light sketch of where I wanna have things. So, um, this is usually how my process is when I'm doing uh, art on canvas as well. Um, I like to sketch first so I can have an idea of where, you know, the painting is gonna start, begin, end, and the placement of everything. Um, I'm not the type of painter or artist rather that can just paint and, you know, have uh, just paint, you know, a subject without sketching it. And I know I can use paint to sketch, but I mean, if I mess up, I'll have to paint it over and that's just layers of paint and paint that I don't wanna waste. So I usually just sketch everything out and then we'll see how everything goes from there. Get up. Do shit, can't make it up. Work a couple jobs, ain't make enough. Work a couple jobs, ain't make enough. Turn to the pad and the pen they love. Turn to the pad and the pen they love. Yeah. It's the year 2015, and I'm working at Party City. Still trying to make it in the hardest city. Went through a breakup, but my heart is with me. Soul still full, but I'm feeling empty. Checking my phone, seeing what they sent me. I'm all out too, but I'm home mentally. I need something else. It's the early 20s. Yeah. Clock in and out. Now I'm at a desk job. Then I got sent to the warehouse. It was feeling like Best Buy. Being dubbed was the best ride. Had a few shows here and there. Rehearsed at the sweatshop. From a bus stop to a train stop. Told myself can't be in the same spot. Told myself can't be in the same spot. All right, guys, so we got the sketch done. We got the light sketch done. Um, I think I like everything, the placement, how everything looks. I'm just gonna clean it up now so I prepare for the next step. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay down the background color on this pit guard, which is gonna be uh, forest green. So I'm gonna lay that down and then sketch on top of that and then we'll start be able to start painting the whole bear. Now that we got the background painted, what I'm gonna do now is take the Sorrel transfer paper. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Sorrel, but it's transfer paper with one side having graphite on it. So what I'm gonna do is take a sheet, which I already did. Got a sheet right here, and on this side it has graphite. So I'm gonna place this on top of the pit guard, then take our sketch, lay that on top, and then trace it. And once I'm finished tracing, it should be an outline on the pit card of our sketch. So I will have, uh, so it'll be able for me to paint it easily, having the outlines, and I don't have to worry about any mistakes. So let's go do that. All right, guys, I did cut out uh, our sketch along with the 
uh, Sorrel transfer paper and I just taped them together. Now what I'm going to do is place this on top of the pit guard and I'm going to go ahead and start tracing. Alright guys, now that we got the sketch transferred onto the pit guard, now it's time for the fun part and that's painting, which is my favorite part. And I think I'm going to use uh, for majority of the painting some Posca acrylic paint markers, which are my absolutely favorite. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Don't finna jump for the shit All top when I speak All cap with the speech Till they caught up in the rapture I'm so out of line with the phrase game Let's take a break Been a long day Hit your line with your fall through With the light sticks Maybe help me spark the ideas We got nowhere else to go It's only up from there I've been on my own Just running through the fields Say vivid for the ears I know that's how they like it. Yeah I fantasize it. Tell me that it's real When it's all said and done I said it how I feel it I let them hear the fear Of a passive aggressive Angry black man with a passion Steady grip while I shoot To the stars with a full clip Try in line with the loose sleeve Then I proofread till I lose sleep couldn't handle the truth in your bed with the right Love it first All right guys, I finished the pit guard after putting a few coats of varnish on it. It's finally done. So you guys know what time it is. Don't act like that. You already know what time it is. B-roll, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matty. Yeah, yeah. Conscious. Don't endanger us. Don't. It's too many, it's way too much Been through shit, can't make it up Been through shit, can't make it up Work a couple jobs, ain't make enough Work a couple jobs, ain't make enough Turn to the pad and the pen they love Turn to the pad and the pen they love Yeah it's the year 2015, and I'm working at Party City Still trying to make it in the hardest city Went through a breakup, but my heart is with me Soul still full, but I'm feeling empty Checking my phone, seeing what they sent me I'm all out too, but I'm home mentally I need something else, it's the early 20s Yeah, clock in and out, now I'm at a desk job Then I got sent to the warehouse It was feeling like Best Buy Being dub was the best ride Had a few shows hand Alright guys, that was the pit guard. Like I said before, this was commission work. I really enjoyed and had so much fun doing this piece. I hope he likes it as much as I like it. You guys, let me know what you think about the pit guard in the comments down below. And remember, if you want some dope art, you can hit me up on my website at RottenCoreArt.com. Until next time, I love you guys and thank you for all the love and support. And uh, I'll just catch you on the next one. Peace! Tell us what to make it count. Tell us people I need three, four, five. Better count it back out loud. What we getting in me for the night? I never hit reply, but it red. I just want to feel alive. Make it so much more than the bills. I just want a house in the hills. I just want to look into her eyes while I'm gripping on the thighs. So she knowing that it's real.